most famous mysterious creature in this country is known as the Zabadoo. <laughs> I had this friend once, my closest friend in fact. You think there really is a creature like the Zabadoo? I never saw him again. Now you say you've heard that the Zabadoo may be holding some human beings captive in his lair? It might mean there's a chance Lyman is alive and being held prisoner by a monster. It's unbelievable. Lyman has been missing all these years. Everyone thought he was gone for good. And now that, that monster over in Franistan is wearing my hat. Looks better on him than it did on you. The hat I gave Lyman. Do you think your friend could still be alive? You think he's being held prisoner by the Zabadoo? I don't know. I don't know what to do about this. John, not knowing what to do about something? Whoa, there's a novelty. Priscilla, Minerva, I'm going to drive you two home. I have to put huh? all my attention on this. Okay, Uncle John, we understand. Hmm. This is a baffling mystery and a matter of life and death. At a moment like this, there's only one thing to do. And of course, some people like mushrooms in their lasagna. Oh, that is so wrong. They take up so much space it could be occupied by sausage. Well, at least I got out of it without those twins dressing me up in some silly outfit. <laughs> Why did I have to say that? Okay, get it over with. Make it look all pretty. in the middle. What size are you doing? We should take so it to good a smart color. Uh -huh. He huh? looks adorable. Here, Garfield, see how good you look well, now. You know, they're annoying, but they are right. I do look kind of fabulous. How does he expect me to get my usual 14 hours of sleep if he's gonna do that all night? Oh, hey, I know you're thinking about Lyman, but... Uh, could you hold it down a bit? No. <laughs> yeah, huh? on behalf of all your mice, I was about to suggest the same thing. Aww. I've been listening to the whole story about this fellow Lyman and the monster called the... Zabadoo. What? I don't know why they named it that either. You gotta go rescue that poor guy. <laughs> <laughs> Me? Go to Franistan? And battle a monster? Hey, why not? I could be a hero like that one I like in the movie. Oh, no. Of course, I'll need to dress like an adventurer. There, how do you like my adventurer outfit? Huh? Uh, Garfield, we don't see anything. Come on, use your imaginations. <laughs> oh, cool. Call me Muncie Smith, bravest of the brave. I'm off to Franistan to rescue Lyman. Now, how am I gonna get there? <gasps> I know. <laughs> this will be my airplane. Stand back. Right! I'd better make this an airstrip! <laughs> ah, better. Hey, Garfield, <laughs> wait! Take us with you! Why not? <laughs> Hop in! Yes! I am the Cha Cha Cat. I like to dance, although I'm fat. Shag. I am the 
Cha-Cha Cat. Remember. How long will it take us to get to Franistan in this fantasy of yours? I know a shortcut. It's a little out of the way, but it'll get us there fast. I like to dance, although I'm fat. The sighting of the Zabadoo was right about here. No. All right, we have to find the Zabadoo. I love fantasy sequences. Mm. Hmm. Oh, 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 oh. Huh? Odie! <laughs> Garfield! <laughs> what's going on in here? What? <gasps> ah. Oops, we woke John up. That's my cue to disappear, too. It's so noisy with Odie howling and. I thought I heard an airplane. Boy, I have noisy fantasy sequences. Odie, you look so sad. You've been thinking about Lyman, right? Yeah, me too. I was thinking, you know, there's really nothing we can do. But then I thought, Huh? If there's even a chance Lyman is alive, we have to try and rescue him. Oops. Garfield, are you worried? You know, this could be dangerous. Am I worried? Am I worried? Is this going to be another fantasy sequence? Nope. In that case, yes, I am worried. <laughs> Come on, guys! Liz is going to drive us to the airport! <laughs> what do you got in this thing, Garfield? Snacks. Snacks? You need this many snacks for the trip to Franistan? Come on! Come on! What do you mean, Franistan? These are for the trip to the airport. Uh, huh? <laughs> <Ouch>. <laughs> Goodbye. Don't forget to ride. We'll take good care of the house while you're gone. Are we really going to take good care of the house while they're gone? Uh, no. Oh. Party! Life for mice <laughs> is really
The area where the Zabadoo lives is about a hundred miles from the airport. Ladies and gentlemen, the pilot is making his approach to Frantistan Airport. Please make sure your tray tables and pussycat are in the upright position. I've arranged for a local guide to drive us there. They say she knows all about this area and all about the Zabadoo. Her name is... Um, Angie. Angie, wake up! Just stop so I can talk to you. I don't work for you anymore, Dirk. You never told me why you quit. Because you're not exploring and adventuring to help people, or even animals. Oh, again with the animals! You're a you... nasty man, and all you care about is money. Something wrong with money? Buckley, explain it to her. This is Buckley. He has your old job, assisting me. Pleasure to meet you, Angie. Yeah, <clears throat> money is a good thing. I know. I have to go earn some of it. I'm guiding a man named Arbuckle who's got a lead on the Zabadoo. What's she got against money? I don't know. Maybe I should have paid her <gasps> some. Listen, whoever this Arbuckle yeah. bloke is, if he's got a lead on the Zabadoo, yeah. we need to follow them. <laughs> You must be Mr. Arbuckle. And you must be Angie. And you must be Garfield. And you must be Odie. And I must be hungry. Come on, Odie. What? <laughs>
studios of the Garfield Show. It's the first annual Golden Lasagna Awards. And here's your host, Garfield Cat. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, <clears throat> a little more, please. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Tonight, because excellence must be recognized, we're saluting superior work on the best show on television. This one. Each winner will receive one of these handsome trophies. It's hard to believe. What's hard to believe, Normal? That I don't have one of those. But I will. Without further ado, our first award is Best Performance by a Character in a Scene Involving Food. And the nominees are... Eddie Gourmand in the episode, Yankee Poodle Dandy. I'll just try one of these, whatever they are. Sir, I don't think you want to. Mmm, <laughs> this is exquisite. <laughs> Madam, what do you call this tasty treat? Dog food. Dog food? Dog food. <laughs> I ate dog food. <gasps> But you know, with a little parsley, it wouldn't be too bad. <laughs> Our next nominee in this category is Vito Cavaletti for his role in Mozzarella Madness. Oh, please, you must forgive me. You must. I, I was foolish, I admit it. If you could somehow find it in your heart to spare me, I would be grateful for all eternity. <laughs> well, just this once. But next time, don't forget the black olives. <laughs> and our final nominee in this category is... What? Well, it seems to be me, Garfield Cat, in Camping Out. We're going to be out here in the middle of nowhere for two weeks, Garfield. We're miles from any takeout restaurants, miles from any markets. We'll be making do with just the supplies we brought. Do you understand? <laughs> And you're okay with that. Well, I apologize, Garfield. I misjudged you. Okay, I'm going to unpack the car. Here you go, little pussygato. On the hot, steaming dish of sausage lasagna, just as you requested. Mm. He had to do that to make up for forgetting the black olives. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And the winner is... Come on, come on. Well, how about that? It's me! <laughs> Rats. Normal, why are you disappointed? You weren't even nominated in this category. I was hoping for a massive write-in vote. Oh, thank you all for this award. I'm not sure which of you voted for me. I didn't vote for him. I didn't vote for him. Well, I, didn't didn't for him. Well, I sure didn't. But it doesn't matter to me. What matters is that I got the award and somebody else didn't. The next category, best performance by an actor in a role involving sleep. And the nominees are John Arbuckle and what time is it? <laughs> no, Garfield, I will not get up and make you raspberry waffles for breakfast. I'll settle for French toast. I just got to bed an hour ago. I'm going to sleep until that alarm clock goes off in seven hours. <sighs> At noon. Good night, Garfield. <laughs> Three, two, one. A good eight hours of sleep. I feel like a new man. I'm going to go make you raspberry waffles and French toast, Garfield. Last July, I convinced him it was Christmas. <laughs> and the next nominee in this category is Odie the Puppy. Please hold your applause. Odie the Puppy for Fetching Fido. Odie, I'm going to throw the stick so you can fetch it. <laughs> Here it goes, boy. Go get it. Hmm. 
<laughs> and the last nominee in this category is... <laughs> well, you know, it's me again. It's for my stellar performance in The Snooze Reporter. Wait, I think he's finally waking up. Garfield, congratulations. You've been asleep for over 11 weeks. What do you have to say? Uh, just five more minutes. <sighs> and the winner is... <laughs> it's me again. Fixed! This contest is fixed! Normal, behave yourself. I'm sorry, this is how I behave. Our next category is Best Performance by a Mouth. Oh, that's great! Garfield can't win in this category. <sighs> Wanna bet? And our first nominee is Herb the Mouse in The Dangerous Mission. This is a dangerous mission, Irv. You don't have to do it. Somebody's oh. got to. It might as well be me. Well, I wish you all the luck in the world with it. Thanks, Squeak. <laughs> The next nominee is Squeak as the news mouse in the Snooze Reporter. Okay, we just saw this one. We don't need to show it again. And our final nominee for the best performance by a mouse is... <laughs> You're not going to believe this. It seems to be me for my performance in Rat Cat. Here's a piece of cheese for you, and one for you, and one for you, and... Hi, I'm a mouse. What do you have for me? And the winner is... Oh, no, not again. Oh. I can't take any more of this. It's a travesty of justice. Excuse me, excuse me, pardon me, excuse me. The cute cat coming through. And the next category is... Best performance by an overweight orange pussycat with Stripe, whose name is in the title of the show. Gee, I can't imagine who's going to win. We don't have time for clips. Oh, what's, what's that again? We don't have time for clips. Oh, I'm informed that we don't have time for the clips, so we'll just do this the fast way. The nominees are me, me, and me. And the winner is... <gasps> hey, it's me. Thank you. I couldn't have done it without you. So, uh, Bruno, you and your friends weren't invited to the ceremony, huh? Yeah, we were nominated for anything and we're angry about it. Hey, who is this? Oh, it's <clears throat> just a friend. I happen to know this award ceremony is rigged. One cat wins every award. You should come down here and take care of him. Yeah, good idea. We'll be right there. Come on, guys. We're going to go down to that award ceremony. When we get there, we'll take care of that cat who keeps winning all the awards. You see? You can learn valuable information watching the Garfield show. The commercial's over. Great. I'll go present the last award. Thank you. And now the award you've all been waiting for. The award for the most fabulously terrific super performer ever. And the nominees are Odie the Puppy. Thank you, Odie. And the next nominee is Nermal the Cat. That's about the response Nermal deserves. And the last nominee is Guess Who? <laughs> <laughs> okay, and the winner is... Hmm. 
And the winner is... Normal Cat! Did you see Normal Cat? You did see Normal Cat! Well, I'm Normal Cat! Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you for that wonderful ovation I'm sure I'd be receiving if anyone was here. I can't tell you how much this award means to me. I really need to thank all of the people who supported me and helped me over the years. And I would if I knew any of their names. <laughs> but I have to admit, you like me. You really like me. Almost as much as I do. Hey, 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 hey. can't you see I'm accepting an award here? You're the cat who ripped these awards, so he always wins. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. No, that's not me. That's uh, No, 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 no. Oh, you see that? You. Oh, pick up some of your own size. Here, Ode, you can have this one. <laughs> hey, awards are great, aren't they? They make your relatives really happy, and you can sell the trophies on the internet for pretty good money. For that one, I'd say you'd be able to get enough for it to buy real lasagna. It's a lot better than gold. <laughs> Have cake, chocolate cake, must have cake. This is for Liz's bake sale. <gasps> Touch it, and I'll never make you another lasagna as long as you live. No cake, must not have cake, must watch TV instead. No cake. <laughs> Time for your walk, boy? Okay, I'll walk you while the frosting hardens. <laughs> It'll be safe from Garfield, I think. I want you out of this house now, this second, sooner, if you can manage it. Meow, meow. You are the most horrible, monstrous, awful creature who has ever lived. Meow, meow. Ah, who needs him and that cheap cat food he buys? Chopped salmon and styrofoam. Who could eat that slop? I'll find me another house to... Uh-oh. There's that cat I've been looking for. Oh, no. You're not getting away from me this time. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, 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 ha,
Now I need food and a new place to live. Where am I gonna find someone stupid enough to take me in? <laughs> Sweet, adorable kitten. Angel, do you have some place to live for Angel? Someone to feed you? But remember, mm -hmm. it's just for a little while, Odie. Mm -hmm. We can't keep him. Mm -hmm. Oh, Angel is so cute. I'm sure even Garfield Snow won't cake. mind sharing his food. Must have no, 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 and Must no. Have in that cake. order, we are not this having another cat Liz's in bakery. this house. Touch it, and I'll never make you another lasagna I as just long know as you, you and Angel will get along well, no Garfield. No cake. Must not have cake. Must watch TV instead. No cake. All right, Angel, you out of here. here. walk, boy? Meow, meow. Don't meow, okay, meow, I'll me. I'll walk you while the frosty parties. <laughs> nice, Odie. Good, Odie. <laughs> your friend the kitten, okay? Meow, meow. <laughs> oh, oh, you know, I hate to admit it, but he is kind of cute. And how much trouble can he be? Oh, about this much. Garfield! Oh, no. What have you You're done to my kitchen? Away from me. I didn't. This time! I... <laughs> Oh, Garfield, that's low for even you. You can't, you can't get away from me. I need a nap. It's a waiting room with somebody else in. All right, you miserable. Now I need food and a new place to live. Well, where am I going to find someone He's stupid not your enough cute to little take me friend. He's not. <laughs> oh, I'm going to love living here. Day drapes. I haven't treaded any drapes in weeks. You poor little sweet adorable. Sorry, pup. Angel, now let's see do about you have some place to live, angel. little angel? Someone to feed you? I don't know if we could have another John's cat in the house. John's gonna blame me for this. Garfield? You're not all going right, to blame this right. mess on that adorable little kitten. It had crossed my mind. <laughs> 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 
But remember, I'm it's just for a little while. Really Odie. Not you like can't cute keep little him. Oh, Angel is so He's cute. He's not a cute little I'm sure kid. even Garfield won't mind He's sharing his food. Angel. No, I'm no, sorry, no, 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 no. And him no. Home. In Angel's that order, than you we are. are not having another cat in this house. Yes? Yeah. Only cat I ever saw. I just know shame. you and Angel will get along well, Garfield. Al, the dog catcher, has been trying to catch him for months. <laughs> See ya. Ah. Al, the dog catcher, couldn't catch a cold All right, Angel, you out of here. Maybe meow, I can meow. lend him a Don't pie. meow, meow, me. <laughs> Odie. Nice, Odie. Good, Odie. <laughs> Looks like that funny-looking guy is gonna give candy to his lady friend. So much for dessert. Now, you stupid butt. I don't want to throw this up and stick so you can fetch it. Now, get out of here, or else. Dinner! Oh, all right, all right. Uh -oh. I won't hurt your friend, the kitten, okay? <clears throat> the house is yours. Goodbye forever. Oh, you know, I hate to admit it, but you used to be a cute. But I got a lead on how much a better trouble place to live. Be. There's a house a few blocks away. Mm, a gourmet chef with this much. prime ribs for his pets no. and has all sorts of drinks. <laughs> Garfield! And the best what have you done is, to my kitchen? He's looking for I didn't. A cat. Honestly, uh, I just no, hope I'm he cute must enough. Have Garfield, that's low for oh, even you. Explaining oh, cute little angel rare. for what you did. How could you? How could you? I didn't! I didn't! Stop! I'm innocent! Just this was! If I didn't know better, meow, meow. I'd blame me too. Meow, meow. <sighs> meow, meow. <sighs> Maybe if I stay out of the way, meow, meow. Let me live here some more. <laughs> what have we here? Ooh, a very boy, cute a kitten. Meow, meow. Boy. I've been catching stray animals for years, but this My is the bed. first time they There's ever came to the house. You can't do this to me. I'm a cute kid. I'm adorable. I... It's a way to me with somebody else in it. All right, you miserable. Well, looks like we've seen the Listen last of the angel. He's not your cute that little until we do friend. He's not. Never trust any creature that's oh, that cute. Love living here. They think they can get away with that anything. Drapes. They think I've not traded any drapes in weeks. I picked up ten pieces for the party. <laughs> Meow, meow. Hey, it worked for him, it could work for me. Sorry, Pop. Once upon a time, Prince John had to find a bride, and he needed one soon. That if you don't marry by your 21st birthday, the next in line becomes king. Oh. Next in line was the royal viceroy. He was not a nice man. Pop, we have to stop that man. We have to help Prince John find a wife. <laughs> Mm. Good burrito. 
Hope you had something tasty while I was gone. Now, where were we? Add one cup of flour to eggs and whisk thoroughly through until smooth. Add heavy cream. <laughs> huh? Oops, sorry. Wrong book. Huh? Although that one was getting pretty interesting. Now then, so the brilliant cat and the not brilliant dog were determined to help Prince John marry so he could be king. But time was running out for him to find a bride. I have dreamed for a maid who cared about life and beauty and the world around her. And me. Me would be nice. You didn't find anyone you could marry? Year after year, I spend my days alone. No one comes near. I'm always on my own. The only life I've known Dreaming every night I'll find Princess Wright A woman who'll demand me Who'll love and understand me When will she meet me? When will she greet me? She is the woman Who will complete me? Where is she hiding? Where's she residing? Things will be so fine on the day she is mine. <laughs> on the day she is mine. In all my days of searching, I have found but one, and she will not marry me. You found, you found one? Yes. She is caring and compassionate. Her name is Elizabeth. And she is a commoner. Oh, a commoner? A commoner? Prince John told the royal food taster. Huh? Oh, wait. <laughs> Are you quite finished? Fine. So Prince John told the royal food taster about the woman named Elizabeth, who lived in a cottage in the blue forest to be near the animal she so dearly loved and cared for. She would feed the friendly squirrels. She would feed the stray cats and dogs. She would feed the colorful bluebird. She would feed mice and moles. And she would even feed the real disgusting creatures you sometimes find out in the woods. The birds and animals all love you, Fair Elizabeth. Ah, uh, that's because I love them. I love you too, Prince John. But I will not be your bride. Huh? Why not? The man I marry must show he has extraordinary heart. I have heart. You are a good man, Prince John, but you have lived a pampered life. You have never been called upon to show you possess that quality. <sighs> that is sadly true. <laughs> How before the deadline could I possibly prove to her I am all that? I cannot even prove it to myself. Sure you can. You go out to the blue forest, find your lady love, and convince her to be your bride. You oh. think I should? You're the hero of this story. Act like it. Ah, my cat is right. I'm always right. <laughs> <laughs> I shall ride into the blue forest and find her now! <gasps> Hold on. Back in a sec. <laughs> oh, by the way, thanks. I don't know why I thank him. I can't talk and he can't hear me. Okay, now, 
Where was I? Oh, yes. The prince admitted his cat was right. And... Well, if you wanted pizza, you should have ordered eight of them like I did. The prince said... I shall ride into the blue forest and find her now! Like a man possessed, the prince rode his fiery charger out of the castle and off towards the blue forest. He was determined not to return until he reached his lady love and convinced her to become his bride. Don't get so happy yet, it's not that easy. Meanwhile, the dashing cat thought his troubles were over. See how it works, pup? Prince John will get her to marry him, the evil viceroy will not become king, and all my problems will be solved. <laughs> oh, no! What's a shoe shot? Yeah. Yeah. some perfume! Yeah. Yeah. That was great! No! Oh, oh, stop! Oh, 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 stop! Oh, stop! Oh, stop! Oh, stop! Correction, not all my problems will be solved. <laughs> And this still is a bad color for me. Look! It's, it's a, a puppy dog! Puppy dog! It's a puppy dog! <laughs> Looks like the prince is heading up into the blue forest. So, like, if he convinces Ow. the animal lady to marry him, what happens to your plan to become king? He won't convince her because he won't get to her. There's only one road into the Blue Forest, and I've arranged to have it guarded by someone. <laughs> Towards the Blue Forest, Prince John rode, determined that nothing would stop him from reaching his fair Elizabeth. But something could stop him. He could be stopped by... Uh, the thing that could stop him was... Oh, wait, I'm trying to think. Uh, oh, good heavens, look what time it is. I have to go annoy the mailman. I'll be right back. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just you, Garfield. I thought maybe you'd have some trick in mind to scare me. You know, like dressing up as a fire-breathing dragon. Huh? Me? Sweet, kindly me. Fire-breathing dragon, huh? Hmm. Here's your mail. <laughs> Scaring the mailman is not nice, but it is part of my job description. <laughs> Bill, 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 John has jury duty. Bill, fire-breathing dragon, huh? <clears throat> But as Prince John made his way into the forest, Prince John rode as a man possessed. Determined to reach the fair Elizabeth, a man he encountered warned him of the danger that lay ahead. A fire-breathing dragon? Up the road a piece. You can't miss him. He's a dragon and he breathes fire. I will not be denied my true love. I am not afraid of any fire-breathing <laughs> dragon. <laughs> Unfortunately, my horse is. But I will not be denied! Deeper and deeper into the forest he went. But there was no sign of this monster he'd been warned about. Fire-breathing dragon, ha! What nonsense! What foolishness! <laughs> what am I doing here? <laughs> no, I wouldn't exactly describe Prince John as brave. Eh, uh, courageous? No. Stupid! You're getting warmer. I guess the word that best describes him is... Barbecued. I'd say medium rare. Somehow the prince made it back to the castle. There, spirits were down and taxes were going up. A tax on using adverbs. A tax on clipping your toenails on a Wednesday. A tax on... Prince John turns 21 at noon tomorrow. If he isn't married, that nasty man becomes king. What are we going to do? Not making up your mind? Hmm. 
You know that real dumb thing Prince John just tried? Well, I hate to say it, but I think we have to try too. And so the adorable cat and the not too bright dog set off for the blue forest. Prior to takeoff, please make sure that your seat and tray tables are in the upright position and that all electronic devices are powered off. Are you ready? And away we go! <laughs> I hope someone comes by to pass out those little bags of peanuts. They had gotten about as far as Prince John got when... Do not be afraid, faithful and furry friend. There's no reason to be afraid of a fire-breathing dragon. None whatsoever. I'll be back in the castle. Let me know how things turn out. And there they stood. The brave cat and the mediocre dog, face to face with the dragon. And then... And then... And then... And then... You know what goes great after pizza? A tuna salad sandwich on rye.